Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning to Miss Nur Kamruzita and my fellow group mates. So today we are going to present to you about our plan costing task 7. So this is my group mates. First, Muhammad Azri bin Kashib. Second is myself, Abdullah Ammar bin Abdul Halim. Third, Muhammad Hakimi bin Jamil. Fourth, Ku Muhammad Hanif bin Ku Ahmad. And lastly, Akmal Shazani bin Abdul Samad. Introduction In the chemical plant design, there are a lot of factors need to be taken into consideration. These factors are such as location for the plant, construction of the plant layout, equipment selection and the operation needs. These factors require a huge cost and it can be divided into two types of costs which are capital costs and operation costs. In order to provide sizable information on the estimates cost of capital and operating costs, any engineering design projects will be developed. Chemical plants are built to generate a profit and the investment needed and production costs are assessed before a project's profitability can be evaluated. The cost assessment is an independent expert and occupation but the engineer must be able to make rough cost estimate in order to decide between project alternative and optimize the project design. This cost consider all costs associated with the design and manufacture of all associated service installation such as design, equipment and part of the general administrative and operational costs. Capital costs so this is our cost of land so the land is located at the biopolymer park phase 2 24300 at the kerti kemaman terengganu the cost of the land is around 20 ringgit per square feet with the size land is 178.83 acres the estimation cost of land is around this value which is 155 million 796,696 ringgit. Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Hakimi. Okay, next is our cost of main equipment. We have a three type of main equipment. There is a reactor, gas absorption and distillation column. After we have made some calculation, the total cost for a reactor is 875,000. 574 ringgit and 1 cents for a gas absorption the, the total cost is 17 million 495,858 ringgit and 47 cents for distillation column is 6 million 255,027 ringgit and 42 cents let's proceed to the next slide uh, we have a comparison of total bare middle equipment cost and total bare equipment cost at base condition. As you can see, for the total bare and module equipment cost is 29 million 4,329 ringgit and 95 cents. And for the total bare equipment cost at base condition is much cheaper. That is 14 million 805,161 ringgit. In case of emergency. We have a contingency cost that is 4,350,649 ringgit and 49 cents. For the contractor fee, we have 870,129 ringgit and 90 cents. For the total module cost, we have 34,225,109 and 34 cents. For auxiliary facilities cost, we have calculated a total cost of 7,402,580 ringgit and 50 cents. And last one is the grassroots cost. Uh, that is 41,627,689 ringgit and 84 cents. Next, we have other relevant aspect. And for the aspect, we have office building construction furnishing, road pavement and vehicle. For the office building construction, the estimated cost is 7 million. For the furnishing is 3 million. For the road pavement is 500,000 and for the vehicle is 2 million and 500,000. And for the total is uh, 30 million ringgit. 
Okay, that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Kumar Mahanif. I will continue with, with the operation cost. The raw material that we are using in our plan is natural gas and water. The cost of natural gas is 0 0.109 ringgit per kilowatt hour and the amount of usage in one year is 1.1 million kilowatt hour and the estimate cost is 123,509.72 ringgit for the water the cost of water is 6 ringgit and 52 cent per gallon and the amount of usage is around 100 million gallon and the estimate cost is around 677 million ringgit and the total cost for the raw material is 677 million 651,572 ringgit and 12 cent Next is transportation. For the transportation, we estimate that we will be using 10 truck and the aspect that we consider is fuel, maintenance, road tax and insurance. For the fuel, the estimate cost is 514,500 ringgit. For the maintenance, 750,000 ringgit. For the road tax and insurance is 20,000 ringgit. And the total cost for the 10 truck is 1,284,500 ringgit. For the utilities, the cost of electricity is 34 cent per kilowatt hour. And the amount of usage for one year is 2.8 million kilowatt hour. The estimate cost is 965,249.80. While the cost of water is 6.52 per gallon. The amount of usage is 18,250 gallon per year. And the estimate cost is 180,000 990 ringgit. The total cost of the utilities is 1,084,239 ringgit and 80 cent. The water in the utilities and the raw material is different. In the raw material, the water is used in the process of production of ammonia and for the utilities, it's for the usage of the workers. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Next, I will talk about manpower. The first table shows the list of equipment. There are six different types of equipment which are reactor, gas adjection, distillation column, compressor, pump and drum. For reactor, we have six unit. Gas adjection and distillation column are one unit. <coughs> Compressor and drum 3 unit while pump 1 unit in our plant. NNP is a number of non particulate processing step. Since we assume P is equal to 0, then the value of NNP will be equal to the number of equipment. The plant is expected to run 24 hours a day with 3 shifts per day and 365 days operation per year. But a single operator is assumed to work for 8 hours for a single shift for 5 days per week and allocation of 3 weeks per year for vacation or sick leave. Next table is NOL. It is number of operator per shift and we got 3.05. Next number of shift per year is 245 shift. Next number of operator required is 4.47 and total operating level is Required is 14. Okay, next table below shows the estimated annual cost of working personnel for the benzene production from the pay scale database. Our manpower is only at 50 level. 
and we got from general manager until skill operator. The table also shows the salary per worker for all of the labor and the annual salary of is multiplied by the total number of labor for each position. Okay, so the total labor to cost after calculation is 1,752,413. That's all from me. Hello, my name is Mama Azri and I will explain on the plan economic feasibility. Based on the latest forecast, the ammonia current market price is around RM2,000 and 10 ringgit per ton. And based on the current market price, our company managed to achieve an average annual cash flow around RM1,193,394,000 and 687 ringgit. We also managed to calculate the investment required to start up our ammonia manufacturing chemical plant. And the total investment required is around RM210,424,000 and 80 cents. Based on this calculated data, the payback time will be around 0.18 year, which is equivalent to the duration of around 2 months. The second one is the profit before tax. As I mentioned earlier, our average annual cash, cash flow is around RM1,193,394,000 and 687 ringgit. Besides the total investment, we also calculated the operating cost required in our chemical plant. And the operating cost required is around RM681,772,000 724 ringgit and 92 cents. Thus, the profit before tax that we gain will be around RM 511 million 622 ringgit and 8 cents. Okay, the last one is the net profit statement and return on investment (ROI). As for the net profit statement, the current taxation rate imposed on the industry is 24%. Thus, the tax that we need to pay will be around RM 122,789,207 ringgit and 90 cents. Based on this tax rate value, our net, state, net profit statement is around RM 388,832,000 691 ringgit and 20 cents. Next, as for the return on investment ROI, the ROI value that we calculated is 184.78%. Based on this ROI value, it can be concluded that our chemical plant is profitable. That's all for our plant costing video presentation. Thank you.